Hello and welcome to this new video in the PySpark playlist. In this video, we will see how to combine data frames. Let's get started. So for this example, we need to read two files which are available in the PySpark folder in Google Drive. The first one you will download is employees.csv and the second one will be employees new 2csv Remember new2 and not new. Coming back, I have the first file in employees df data frame and wherein we have 10 rows over here. Combining is nothing but an operation which is called as a union wherein we append one data frame below the other one. So this will be like keeping rows below the first set of data. Let us see how to do this. For this we need actually in real you would need two data frames minimum. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the same data frame again. So I'll do dot control space union there are multiple operations in union. Out of this, we are starting with the first union, which needs a data frame as an input. So I'll just pass another data frame as the same one, and then we'll run to understand the behavior. So let's say display. So here, you will see you're getting 20 rows, which is nothing but, though it has duplicated the data, but understand the feature, it is keeping the next data frame below the first one. In real, you will have just two different data frames. What is necessary for this or prerequisite is the number of columns in both the data frame must be the same. And they are different data frames. Now it was same because we used the same one. And the order of the columns must be the same in both the data frames. Like if the first data frame has ID as the first column, it should be the same in the second data frame. Then name, city, and salary. If it's not the same, then you will have to use select transformation specify the sequence and then, then top of that you do the union. Let's read another data frame, uh, another file into a new data frame, which is new2.csv. And then let us try to combine both of these data frames. Now understand what is difference in the second file. Name is appearing initially and then ID, whereas in the first one ID was first column and name was second. Also, the number of rows are more over here. That's fine. So let's do display df2 and run. Now let us scroll down and see what has happened. So you see within the ID column, name is appearing from the second data frame. And in the name column, the IDs are appearing. Now this was not the fault of union. It was our fault because we didn't check that the sequence is not the same. But for this as well, there is a solution. As you saw in union, there are several operations and one of them which was be useful in this would be union by name. So let's run this union by name means it will do the union on basis of the name of the columns, but it becomes compulsory to have the same column num names on the both the sides. So now you see the data is perfectly aligned or arranged ID below ID name, city, salary. Whether you do both. What is also important is the number of the columns in both the data frames must be the same. So if a data frame has six columns and another one has five, it is not going to work. So either you reduce the other data frame which is larger by using select and then do the union or you add another column by using with column feature or transformation in the data frame which has less number of columns. In case you want to do union of more than two data frames, on top of this, you can just do dot union and the third data frame and keep on continuing adding data frames to do multiple union. So that was all about combining data frames by using union. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.